What is up everybody? Today we got a nice blustery, rainy uh, end of November day. I missed the tide that I really wanted to fish by about like five hours, so I'm really behind the eight ball today. Um, I am going to be trying a few different things, experimenting in different areas, but uh, maybe we'll get on a striper. So let me show you what I'll be working with. All right, so I'm going to be fishing just a five inch paddle tail or swim bait, whatever you want to call it, on a half ounce uh, eye jig. And I'm going to work shallow, you know, mouths of creeks, as well as jigging, you know, different depth contour structure differences. So let's see how it goes. All right, so what we're gonna try and do, I got my shallow water pin. I'm gonna pull ahead, um, kind of anchor myself off this creek to my right and see if we can't get any more fish. All right, let me uh, try and get this shallow water pin. There we go. That should do it for us. I'm telling you, man, this shallow water pin is like the poor man's trolling motor. Without it, we would be uh, burning a lot of fuel trying to just reset up every time, especially with uh, the wind and the tide ripping right now. Should be holding us, I think. Oh, that's a good sign. Short strike, that means there's more bass up there. I tell myself to slow my retrieval. Word temp dropped a few degrees, so. Tide is absolutely ripping right now. I mean, look how much water's pouring out of that creek. Kind of a perfect area. I was gonna say for a striped bass, baby. Usually when the tide's that strong, there's usually fish sitting, waiting. Oh, is he swimming? Yeah, I think he's swimming towards me. Oh, no, not that way, not that way. Gotta get him away from my motor. That's actually not a bad pass. Oh, go figure, first cast special. That was a terrible net job on my half. Oh, there we go. That's actually a really chunky bass. Look at that guy. All right. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Almost lost my shallow water pin. Let's try that again. There we go. This is saving me because right now I wasn't expecting the tide to be as strong as it is, which is making life a lot harder to drift, especially when the wind is pushing the same direction as the tide. So it's kind of like power drifting me past the area that I really want to cover. So putting this in the mud has kind of been like the only thing keeping us in the strike zone. We took a couple drifts before putting it in, but can only uh, drift in like four knots, which is way too quick in my opinion. I'll try that again up this way. more of a patience thing right now just letting it sink because there's a drop off right here it's pretty pretty deep and I think with the colder water temp these fish are tighter to the bottom than they were the previous time I was out right, I'm 
going to pitch it out right about there. Let it sink to the bottom and then kind of jig it with the current. Make it more look, look more natural, I guess you could say. Oh, there's a fish. Wow, that's awesome. Jeez, it's like high speed bass fishing. Oh, he spit it right at the boat. That's cool though. That's a good sign. There's a fish. Let's go. Not a big guy. Oh, he spit it. Had him to the boat and he spit it, but he wasn't very big, if I'm being completely honest with you. And he was gonna go back anyway, so kind of an easier release. There's a fish. Let's go. A little bigger than that last one. Oh yeah. funny is this guy's not very big at all but still bigger than that last fish we just lost just to put a little less stress on the fish I'm gonna net them sometimes when you swing them in they get beat up with the net it makes life a lot easier like I don't want to you know you, you heave them into the boat and unless you're catching them with your hands, I don't want to beat this fish up. They're such beautiful fish, man. There he goes. What's sad is I see all these dead fish posts on Instagram, you know, all different social media platforms, you know, north of where I am. But there's just so many people that keep these fish out of the water for like extended periods of time to put them through a photo shoot they end up killing the thing which I'm not against killing fish and keeping fish but if you're not gonna keep that fish you know why put it through that much stress you know these fish aren't as hardy as you think There's a fish. There's a fish again. Kind of same area too. They must be sitting on this little flat. Go figure. No, he's just gonna go for another run as soon as he sees the boat. Uh, maybe not. See, he inhaled that bait. I don't even see it. Uh, luckily, it's still in the roof of his mouth, so that's not a good thing. He'll survive, which is awesome. There's a fish. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Nothing like landing on top of a fish. That's awesome. Killed the motor for a 
second. We're in deep enough water. That's awesome. This guy's been eating good, man. Look at his stomach. Feisty little bass. Man, he he wasn't getting away. There we go. Look at this cutie. Alright, there you go. Let's try getting it all the way back there. What the heck? What? Oh my lord, are you kidding me? I caught a freaking turtle? Oh man. <sighs> Try and make this as easy as possible on this guy. <sighs> Sorry buddy. I promise I'll let you go, all right? Just want to get this hook off of you. There you go. Huh. What a cool looking turtle. All right, see you later, buddy. He looks like he's ready to go. Ah, he's slowly flipping himself right now. There he goes. Well, I, I can knock that off my bucket list. I've never caught a turtle before. You wonder if, uh, you ever see those turtle lures that the bass fishermen use? I wonder if they would work for stripers. Because I know there's stripers in these little cuts. 